I'm Michael Townsend. I'm a board member for our Community Action Partnership of San Bernardino County. I also serve as district representative for Senator Connie Leva, and on her behalf, I, I serve in the public sector on the board. You know, uh, Community Action Partnership has a long-standing and very well-deserved reputation of serving the needs of low-income people in San Bernardino County. They do so with efficiency and effectiveness. And during the COVID-19 pandemic, those skills were put to the test. And CAP came out on top. They served the existing needs and the additional needs that were created by the pandemic. As a result of their long-standing and very well-deserved reputation of serving the needs of low-income people effectively and efficiently, uh, Senator Leva submitted a proposal on their behalf to the state of California for funding in the, in the tune of $1 million. That combination of a uh, fine reputation of Senator Leva's political acumen, it was a winning combination and cap ended up getting a $1 million uh, addition to their funding in one-time dollars from the state of California. It was my privilege to be a small part of that. So our board of directors is um, what's considered a tripartite board, and that brings together three different sectors. The private sector, uh, which we know is very beneficial. They have an efficiency model and getting the job done. We have the elected officials who have their representatives, are them, themselves serve on our board of directors, uh, such as Senator Connie Leva, Mayor Robertson, and then we have the low-income sector. Those are the individuals who have the pulse on what's happening in the low-income community and come to us with ideas and ways that we can better serve those residents of San Bernardino County. Uh, the beauty of this board structure is that uh, having a board member that is a representative of Senator Connie Leva presented us with a unique opportunity to receive funding in the amount of over $1 million. This is beyond our wildest belief that we would be able to have an opportunity to submit a request to the Senator to support what we're doing here in this community. Uh, it is so needed as we come on the heels of the pandemic and we have seen the need in San Bernardino County, particularly during um, the height of the pandemic we all know that people were struggling to put food on the table. And so we address that need through our food bank, where we provide food throughout San Bernardino County through over 250 organizations. And then we also put on uh, specialized events in the community, taking food out to senior housing, uh, just going to the doorsteps of people and giving them food where they resided and helping them to get through it. So in getting this opportunity to receive the $1 million, we want to expand on the current services we're providing. Uh, we are the largest provider of emergency utility assistance. We're the largest provider of emergency food. Uh, and so we're also heavily into doing rental assistance, making sure people are able to maintain their housing. This funding is going to help us uh, expand those program offerings. One opportunity is to purchase a mobile food pantry truck uh, that will take us to the remote areas of San Bernardino County and address those residents who are struggling uh, and are food insecure. We're also going to be able to build our infrastructure, strengthen our IT system, our telephone system. We really want to be as efficient as we can as we serve this community and as you can only imagine serving a county of over two million residents. It's a challenge for us so we want to have the technology that makes us efficient as an organization and we want to be able to look at the programs and services that are having the greatest impact on our community and expand and enhance those programs. This funding is going to allow us to do that. It's going to allow us to get rid of an aging fleet of vehicles on the food bank, uh, replace those vehicles um, to be more modernized and be able to carry more food. We're also going to partner up with our organizations that are helping us distribute over 300 some thousand uh, households food on a monthly basis and provide to them um, what they need in their nonprofit organization. So um, it's just a blessing to receive this unexpected um, windfall of funding for our organization that will be put to tremendous use to better uh, the community and to help us just uh, increase the people we're serving each and every day.